A hacker posted details of a floor with Razer's wireless dongle that could allow an attacker to gain access and execute commands on a system-level privilege. First seen by MS Power user, a hacker using the Twitter username, John Hat, at J0NH4T, shared details of the online glitch, noting that Razer had not responded to his attempts to contact the company. However, John Hat followed in a thread below the initial tweet that Razer finally communicated, that their security team is working on a fix, and that they offered a bug bounty despite going public with the issue. The flaw exists within the Razer driver installation process. In short, when someone connects a Razer wireless dongle, which is typically used to connect accessories like mice and keyboards to a computer, Windows Update will download and run the Razer installer program, which installs the software drivers for the connected accessory. However, the program installs the drivers at the system level and offers users the ability to open File Explorer and select a location to install the drivers. While in the Explorer window, users can right-click to open a PowerShell terminal with the same system privileges. If an attacker did this, they could effectively do whatever they wanted on your computer. Additionally, if users choose to save the drivers in a user-controllable location, such as the desktop, Razer Installer saves a service binary that an attacker could hijack for persistence. While all of that sounds scary, it's worth keeping in mind that an attacker would need to access your PC to take advantage of the flaw. The whole problem depends on plugging in a Razer dongle, or a counterfeit USB stick to trick Windows into thinking it's a Razer dongle. In other words, you probably don't need to worry too much about this vulnerability unless your computer is at risk of being accessed when you are not around. Although the flaw is in Razer's software, it also shows that Windows still has potentially huge vulnerabilities, especially when it comes to implementing third-party software and drivers. You could say that Windows Update shouldn't install things with system privileges, especially if that could allow the user to access critical software at that level. It is worth noting that some have reported similar vulnerabilities with other driver installation software which further indicates that it is a bigger Windows issue that Microsoft needs to address. This latest flaw comes shortly after the print nightmare vulnerability and the head of Windows 11, which Microsoft has positioned as a more secure version of Windows thanks to implementations of things like a TPM requirement, possibly confusing.